What up, what up? What's going on, guys? Your boy GS. We are picking up where we left off a couple videos ago. We are two games away from not only clutching ourselves a first round bye, but actually getting into the playoffs and hopefully making another Super Bowl run. So, uh, hopefully, we can go ahead and accomplish that because, I mean, who don't like throwing extra coins, right? So, uh, hopefully, we can go on ahead and start strong. And, you know, just uh, hope for a mistake or two defensively. Uh, if you guys would like to know my lineup at this point, just check out, uh, you know, a couple games. A couple days ago, I uploaded a video where I went through uh, the roster. And, you know, my defense is definitely stacked. So, I'm just hoping to, you know, play well offensively and just allow my defense to run amok. I, I really feel like uh, eventually they will make something go the way. It's LT destroyed. Um, Jamal Charles right here go to a makeshift screen and we end up going to Jamal Charles right there for a couple yards third and two we decide to uh, run breeze on a read option you know when you got a slow quarterback they typically don't expect it so I just try to you know sneak it in there every now and then just to put in their mind you know uh, uh, maybe they'll try and pay attention for it next time I come on that formation you know anything to give myself a, you know an advantage you know what I mean if uh he over prepares for that at least one time, then you know, job well done. So, uh, on our part, I should say. So, first and ten right here. Um, notice that I'm I have the ball for a while. I'm not intentionally clocking. I'm just not getting that many yards with my plays. You know, I'm getting four yards, four yards, six yards. So, um, I've I've been able to, uh, like I said, unintentionally waste a lot of time uh, with it being only four minute quarters. Man, you can like almost kill an entire half. Once two minute warning went by, then I started the clock. Like, okay, uh, it would be dumb of me to try and score quickly, give him ball back where he can get back to back possible scoring possessions because he does get ball at halftime. And, and that right there is a situation I don't want to put myself in. So I did almost waste the entire first half. First time I've ever done that. And again, definitely unintentional. Um, it's just that I was getting. Uh, you know, like I said, five yards, five yards, four yards, four yards, six yards, and, you know, little by little driving all the way downfield and not necessarily getting, like, one huge gain being able to, uh, you know, put me in scoring position, you know, only after a play or two. Uh, so that right there was definitely uh, a new experience for me. I've never really uh, been able to hold on to the ball for an entire half, you know, by myself. So... Uh, that was different. I didn't even realize that until I realized it was two minute warning. And then it was like, okay, okay, okay. Now we're in scoring range. Let's try and kill as much time if possible if he lets us. And uh, he did. Right there, uh, drop pass, fourth and 15. And he's like, you know what? YOLO! If I don't get it, I'm quitting! And we end up getting a sack right there, and he ends up quitting. So uh, now we're going to go on ahead into the next game. This right here is a big game for at minimum 3,500. Uh, just how last game ended a lot of people quit often i'd say like 98 percent of people on on mutt will just quit you know not even try and play so um i like coins you know what i mean who doesn't when you play mutt right you try to get as much coins as possible so to me this right here is is uh, definitely a, a big game this right here is the 3500 you know coin game to me you know what i mean so even if he quits i still get a whole lot of coins so, uh, right here, we go to the makeshift, go to Jamal Charles, try to get myself, uh, you know, sneak away around the edge, but that right there is unsuccessful. Uh, I believe I'm running, am I running Kansas City at this point? I'm pretty sure I am. I uh, almost paused. Right here, we come on empty chief and uh, hit him right over the middle. Uh, we hit him with uh, Momo Moss right over the middle. So, you know, trying to, uh, you know, run the ball with Jamal Charles, who, who's definitely dominant. Uh, as you guys know, I, I talk about this 99 Drew Brees. Uh, he is fantastic, man. He throws the ball better than any QB I've used. Now, I haven't used, like, Golden Ticket Cam or Ultimate Legend Elway as I throw a horrible pass right there. Uh, not a horrible pass because Drew Brees only puts it where you want it. A horrible read by me, I should say. Um, Drew Brees is phenomenal, but I do suggest having a mobile quarterback on deck. Uh, even if it's somebody cheap, even if it's a cheap Walter Payton QB, because you will go up against Fagdy, and it's very, very frustrating, you know, when you have a Drew Brees who's only got like 69 speed, who's limited inside the pocket, once you start throwing these lasers, <laughs> and it's a known passing situation, 
people don't have no shame in throwing 15 guys in coverage trying to stop five wide receivers. So uh, we give up a touchdown defensively, you know, after throwing that pick uh, on our previous possession. And it's not looking good. You know what I mean? Uh, we uh, need to score here. You know, he gets the ball back at halftime. So, you know, that right there, we got to be careful. We try to read option, and that right there gets shut down by Ryan. So second down and 15. We stand back. We just do a quick dump off to a Falk, hoping to get some, you know, good yards, make it a manageable third down situation, which he definitely did. So third down and eight right here, man. We stand. We try to hit him with the skinny, but Momo drops it. So third and eight, man. Of course, YOLO, all out fag D, only rushed one. People, they, I don't know, man. They they can't win with playing regular defense, man. I, I swear. Uh, uh Take away Fag D and you put yourself somebody in the fair play lobby, man. I, uh, 75% of the people that win a good amount wouldn't even survive, man. I, You know what? It's not like people are like, why are you complaining about Fag D so much? It's like, uh, because I struggle against it. You know what I mean? I, I feel like you should be able to find other ways of actually running a, a defense and being able to win. Um, you know. Uh, of, of course, you, you don't like what you struggle against. You know what I mean? That's like, you know, playing Street Fighter 2 and you struggle against a, a, a Ken, you know, Fireball, Hadouken, or whatever the proper term is. It. As Sean Taylor comes through with the pick, you know what I mean? Of, of course, you're going to get frustrated. You're not going to like something that you have trouble beating. You know what I mean? And uh, Fact D definitely always gets the better of me uh, nine times out of ten. So when I see it, it, it you know, frustrates me. And, um, uh, anyways, we're talking too long about it. Yeah, he plays fact. You know, we, we got to beat it, right? So, 7-7 seven and seven right here. We are in scoring range. I uh, tried to pick up uh, the touchdown right here. No timeouts left. Tried to uh, really quickly go towards the back of the end zone. But uh, it is dropped right there. I feel like I had enough time for one more opportunity. So, we go towards the back of the end zone again, and we don't get it. So, it's like, you know what? Uh, play safe. Kick our field goal. Let's go on ahead and go into the half. Up three. And, uh, you know, we are on defense, but, you know, like I said, uh, we are up three. So, um, one more stop and a score. Just going up two possessions can definitely be huge, especially in Mutt where the quarters are limited. So, I definitely want to try and get a stop here. And, you know, having a phenomenal defense is so amazing. You know what I mean? Not phenomenal defense. Like, I know what I'm doing on defense. I'm talking about phenomenal defensive players, you know. At the time, I had some of the best of the best, you know, uh, Joe Hayden, J.J. Watt, you know, Brian Dawkins, and, you know, at these times, these guys weren't that, you know, uh, I want to say old, but I, I don't know what's the term to say it, but uh, they weren't that, they were released, you know, uh, not too long ago from the point where I, where I uh, actually got them, so um, I had some of the best of the best on the field, and it makes defense so much easier, it, it really does. That's why a lot of people can do well in mutt you know you can get a stacked team like how i got you know defensively and uh it, it makes you look like a defensive genius sometimes i'll call a horrible defensive play like always and sean taylor or brian dawkins or paulo malo or one of those 99s will come up big with a huge play and make something incredible happen for you fourth and two right here just go for the first down and uh I, unbelievable that tony gonzalez held on to that he got absolutely murdered uh, look at him, man. We are taking just devastating hits. Uh, Tony Gonzalez, Holographic Gonzalez, has that like 99 catch in traffic, I believe. So he doesn't drop too many passes. Definitely an amazing tight end. I would say second best tight end I've played with. First one, I would say by far Madden 25 Gronkowski. The guy is not only receiving monster, but he's the best blocking tight end I've used. Uh, right here, I had a... Uh, a quick thought, you know, I wasn't expecting to score there, but once I seen it had empty link towards the touchdown, it's like, okay, you got to make a quick decision. It's either get down, try and kill some clock, or score, go up two possessions, and, you know, hope he doesn't score, get an outside, something like that. It's like, you know, let me go up two possessions and try to take it from there. Uh, right there is one of the most frustrating things about this game is when on a lob streak, your cornerback is ahead of the receiver, and they don't make a play. They don't turn around. They don't do anything and that right there was that exact same situation and that sucks third and 14 he goes for a play he goes over the middle and another interception this time by patrick peterson he ends up quitting after that so that's the end of the game guys tomorrow i should be uploading a playoff game and we actually go up against somebody in the playoffs who is a madden 
uh, tournament goer, and it turns out to be one hell of a game. You don't want to miss that. It's your boy Jess. I'm out. Peace. Come to me, baby. Clean season, baby. Yeah.